Welcome to the third part of our lesson, which is expected value. Expected value is the average gain or loss of an event if the procedure is repeated many times. We can compute the expected value by multiplying each outcome by the probability of that outcome and then adding up the products. Let's take a look at two examples. For number 13, a bag contains two gold marbles, eight silver marbles, and 25 black marbles. Someone offers to play this game. You randomly select one marble from the bag. If it is gold, you win $4. If it is silver, you win $2. If it is black, you lose $1. What is your expected value if you play the game? So the three outcomes are you win $4, or you win $2, or you lose $1. Let's begin with winning $4. So we begin with positive 4 for $4. Now we multiply this by the probability that you win $4, which is the probability of selecting a gold marble. Notice how there are two gold marbles out of a total of two plus eight plus 25, or 35 total marbles. And therefore, the probability of selecting a gold marble is two out of 35, or two divided by 35, giving us four times two thirty-fifths. Plus, the next outcome is you win two dollars, so plus positive two times you win $2 if you select a silver marble. The probability of selecting a silver marble is 8 35ths, or 8 divided by 35. And then finally, the last outcome is you lose $1. So we have plus negative 1 because it's a loss of $1 times a probability of losing $1, which is the probability of selecting a black marble. There are 25 black marbles out of 35 giving us 25 divided by 35 as a probability of selecting a black marble. The sum of these products will give us the expected value. Going to the calculator, we have four times two divided by 35 plus two times eight divided by 35. And then we can write plus negative one times 25 35 or just minus one times 25 divided by 35. And this is in dollars, and therefore we round to the nearest cent, which gives us negative 0.03, because we have an eight in the third decimal place. So the expected value is negative 0.03 dollars, or negative three cents. Which means, as this game is repeated many, many times, the average loss is going to be three cents each time it's played. And now let's take a look at number 14. A company estimates that 0.9% of their products will fail after the original warranty period, but within two years of the purchase, with a replacement cost of $400. If they offer a two-year extended warranty for $24, what is the company's expected value of each warranty sold? So the first thing to recognize here is the probability the product will fail is equal to 0.9%, which must be expressed as a decimal, which is 0.009, which means the probability of no failure is equal to one minus the probability of failure, which is one minus 0.009, which is equal to 0.991. We need both of these probabilities to determine the expected value. Now one outcome is the product fails and the company has to replace the product at a cost of $400. But they don't lose all that money because the customer would have had to purchase the warranty for $24. So if the product fails, the outcome is negative 400 plus 24. The negative 400 is the cost they have to pay to replace the product, but they do get $24 because the customer did purchase the warranty. So this is the outcome if the product fails, and then we multiply this by the probability of failure, which is 0.009 plus. The second outcome would be the product does not fail, and therefore the company does receive the warranty cost of $24, which would be plus 24 times the probability of no failure, which is 0.991. And now we go back to the calculator, and round to the nearest cent. We have negative 400 plus 24 
in parentheses times 0 0.009 and then plus 24 times 0 0.991 which gives us exactly 20.4 or $20.40. which means as the company sells more and more warranties, on average, they can expect to gain $20.40 for each warranty sold. One common mistake on this type of problem is to forget that when the product fails, the outcome for the company is not just negative $400 because the customer still had to purchase the warranty to get the replacement, which is why this first outcome is negative 400 plus 24. I hope you found this helpful.